remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. Good for work. Good for work. Yeah. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Milo, we're going to go into the train station. Okay. We done another done now. Yeah, yeah. We done another done now. Okay, we done another done now. We done another done now. Milo, we done another done now. We done another done now. We done another done now. Okay. I'm going. We warm them.
all that on the drive? Oh, baby. Yeah, I know, but it's just awkward, isn't it? No, 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 no. Thank you. You made it easier to get a loan because people know that you're quite a lot. Yeah, true. Yeah, probably thought you were ISIS. What the fuck do you mind? I've got your food. Oh, I'm not really aware, so I've got on a bit of a pattern, to be fair. Once I got into Birmingham, I put all those veggies. Yeah. That's fine. Fuck him. Come on. Come on the platform. I thought, hang on, honey, I'm sure that says 12 by. Well, I've got to be on the board. And I was looking, I'm like, there's all you can see 12 B, I'm like, fuck, 12 right. So then I'm looking around the land and there's two fucking coppers walking on the platform yeah. towards me. I'm thinking, oh no. <laughs> you don't have time for this. I've got fucking, I've got this up like that, I've got my hood up, I've got fucking, I've got this box in my hand, you just could think it's a fucking suspicious package. Yeah. And then you know, on top of that, they started to fucking search me, I'm going to kind of be so worried about that, which is across the grass, I was thinking, shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I thought, fuck this man, I'm doing double checks, so I went back up the stairs, checked on the board. What's that noise? Some of them. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you played the summit. Well, I'm. I started, I've just loaded it up. Is the camera on? I'm broadcasting. Is the camera on on there? No, that's not right. I need to get it's fucking killing me. Swear to Just let me get changed. Yeah, I'm just about to start the tutorial. Dying. Yes, I know. I've come up there, yeah. Yeah. Check those for what train, I'm like, yeah, it is. So I'll come back then. The same two coppers have looked at me, have followed me back on the platform, so I stood there waiting. Then all of a sudden, another three or four appeared, man. Yeah, yeah so I'm thinking, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, um, did I do nothing or did they even bother me or nothing? It was just because, uh, you know, because couldn't up to Christmas and that. Loads of pick oh, pickpockets oh, in the area. Houston. And we were just about to walk and to go and get a taxi and you have to come. Oh, and yeah. I was like, shit, got like cannabis on me and I don't know it. So I fucking boycotted the dog, boycotted the way back. No, you're right. Yeah, I bought it. Uh, I bought it. Is that the one? Yeah. So you can have your cup back, man. Yeah, man. Mm. Oh, don't die. Yeah, fucking. Well, it's because basically there's a pit pop lizard boy in here, they remember. Did you like a drink?
place to be, oh, I want to sort this issue out and that, or I'm not able to pay room for. Yeah. And he says, what can you contribute to it today? So I said, 127 50. That's nearly half of it, then. Yeah, so at least 200, 200. And then yeah. I've got to pay 50. Because if you want to go, go to the court, you want to see CCJ, which would have been a pass. Yeah. Yeah. What do you call it? Fair yeah. costs to try them. Yeah, they're all the court costs. They're all the court costs. So, what's that? The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change oh, much. This is my city. Oh, I'm doing a lot of work. Just be careful with it, right? Oh no, I've got a bit. Make sure you pay like what you've got to pay. I've paid my mum. So that, that's sorted straight away. Um, mm -hmm. God, you just need to die, you know. Mm -hmm. you just need to die in my water. Fucking hell. Fuck, you know. I'm absolutely. Yeah, you know, look at this. This was our, our sweepstake. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so. Yeah. And then you've got whatever in your bank? No, no, that's it. Oh, okay. All in cash, right? Fucking weird. Oh, give me all your tennis. That's a dick. This is it. So this is our... This is how many minutes we said that the speech would go on for and we all put a tenner in each. Yeah, man. But I never put a tenner in because Chalky put mine in. And it was... 2839, 2840. <laughs> Fucking sick is that? Sick. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Sick. I was one second uh, out. Uh, one second. I couldn't go it. Ain't it? I thought I'd put 2950, but it was 2840 and I was literally one second out. Mm. Mad. Killing me. Get it though, 80 quid, well, well they, 90 quid I won. Did they say anything like when they were? No, they were happy. No, they no. Were not, well, they said that's the closest ever. that anyone's ever got. Mm -hmm. They're like, that is seriously the closest anyone has ever got. You were a second out. I was like, did I tell you my last name's Brickstock? <laughs> <laughs> I just text him, tell him it's got to be 28 minutes and 40 seconds, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no way, came here with fuck all, leave with 80 quid. Don't mind if I do. Well, it would have been 90 quid, but I gave Chalky the tenner back because technically he put a tenner in for me. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, should have given me half, really. I was like, yeah, don't push it. <laughs> you were like about eight times my salary, couldn't jog on. <laughs> I'm laughing at me, you couldn't believe what I kept saying. How'd you get away with what you say? I just say it how it is, isn't it? I thought they were killing me. No, no, nah, nah, I, I, I was sure if I put two down at the same time, you know, it just threw me down. I was like, so I've got to do it again. I only drew 20 quid to go out. Sorry, I've done it again, haven't I? No, that's cool. I'll go. Four. No. No, 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 no. But four. Oh, to, to last. <laughs> so you need to margin it out. I right? think I've got. Well, I found a bed. You need to budget it. I know. You need to work out 
really realistically what you need to spend on a weekly basis and I mean to the line, i.e. not a queue, cover your ass with an ape. I can bet if I wait for a little bit to be fair, I'll just stick to oil. It's cheap, it's from Casper. Instead, instead of spending 50 quid on a queue, I'm spending one pound so much on a tin. Yeah, I mean, that's a big fucking saving straight away. Again, it was better than I expected it to be, which I think makes the difference. Because mm -hmm. when I found out I was on the table on my own with strangers, well, I knew Chalky, but I was like, oh, why, why is it true? Because everybody else was on the same table from my office. Jill, Sammy, Andy and Dave was all on, um, was all on um, the same table. It was only me that was on a different table. That's sad, though. But, uh, but when, when you told me, I was like, what the fuck, why? You know, because straight away I thought, well, she ain't going to bother eating nothing, because she ain't... I ate it fucking all, man. I ate the fuck it, it was beautiful. I was starving, <laughs> I was absolutely... I swear to God, all I've done is eat this week. In the morning, I'm waking up and I'm fucking starving. I'm, mm. ne I'm never hungry in the morning. My day. I know. But yeah, my, oh, it was beautiful, the food. We had black pudding to start, so you know I was in my fucking element. Oh. And then we had pork, <laughs> pork belly, bubble and squeak mash... And cabbage. Yeah, man. One set day. It was, it was to die. And then for afterwards, there was like this black forest little chocolate sponge thing. But as you popped it, there was like cherries and oozy chocolate in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just to die. It yeah. was honestly, it was really the food. And it wasn't little scraggy portions either, like new cuisine. It was actually. Oh, the bloke went to the um, spa thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would. It was nice, it was pr it was really nice. Oh shit, fans like, because Chalky turned around and went, is the wine all right? Are you all right on what? Because we got there, there's free wine on the table anyway, so I'll, I'll help myself to wine. And then Chalky got them to bring over a bucket of beer, with about eight beers in it. So the bloke's gone, do you want me to open all these? And he's like, yeah, open those and then bring me another bucket. I was like, I'm drinking beer anyway, fuck that. Mm. And he was like, are you alright on wine? Are you happy with wine? I was like, no, it's not vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want then? I was like, vodka. Yeah, vodka. I had vodka then. I was on yeah. vodka. We got to the all bar one at about 11. I had a gin and tonic and a vodka and lemon and lime in there. Then I had a glass of wine when we got to Ista. Then I had another glass of wine at the table. Then I was drinking vodka again. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the Jugged Hair next door, which is a pub. And I had a vodka. Well, we, we doubled up, so I bought two. So we bought six drinks. Guess how much it cost? Go on. 51 pounds. What? What? Six drinks? What? We had three vodka lemon and limes, one gin and lemonade, and two pints of Guinness. 51 pounds? 51 pounds, something. I had to put it in the car. D! <laughs> in, in London, yeah? Yeah. For six drinks, come to fifty-one pounds a month. I'm trying to get you. Six drinks cost fifty-one quid. We was on the train on the way back, and they went and got. We each had a, bo a bacon butty. I had a bottle of Where prosecco. Where'd you get a bacon butty? We was on a Virgin train. They've got um, a buffet cart on one of the carriages. <laughs> so we had Sick. a bacon butty each. They had a bottle of red. Andy had a bottle of red, Jill had a bottle of wine, a bottle of wine, about that big. Me and Debbie had a little bottle of Prosecco and that was 50 quid. For three bacon butties and three drinks. No, four bacon butties and four yeah. drinks. 50 odd quid. So Jill can claim all this shit back. I ain't paid for nothing today. I tell a lie, I bought a coffee at New Street Station, which I'm going to claim back. <laughs> And my train tickets, which actually no, I didn't even buy a train ticket because my Virgin, my London trains were all booked from Andy at work. And then when we got to the train station this morning, Jill paid for my ticket and said, Don't worry, I'll claim it back. Mm -hmm. Booker. Doesn't sign anyway. I know. Sounds you wrong to do. Oh, yeah, it just sounds me fucking about. Oh, yeah. 
So, but it was good. Yeah. Like you're the chosen one, you get to sit on their table. Mm. <laughs> chosen one, I was like, no, I'm the naughty one, they're keeping an eye on me. <laughs> but I was sat next to fucking Richard Evans, Blot. who's the big boss of Davro, he only lives up the road from me, and I knew that as well. So when he was like, oh, where were you from then? I was like, Bart Green, and then he was like, oh, really? Oh, whereabouts? <laughs> I was like, just in the village. <laughs> he was like, oh, me? I was like, yes, I know, you live on Shackley Road. <laughs> You've got the biggest house on the fucking lane. Piss off. Uh, what are you doing? But my table was actually really, really good. I was pleased that I was on there. I was thinking to myself laugh. and they said, you know, I'm with all the big wigs like London, a lot and everything. I was like, ooh. And then I was no, thinking, no, most no, of the I'm people on my table were from the Midlands because I'd got Mark Crossley, who's from CJ Uptons. They're based in Wolverhampton. No, West Brom. Oh, I can't remember where the other guy. I'd got James Roadway from Meridian, which was where we asked for directions when we took you for your course. Yeah. Um, Alan Taylor, who works at the London office. And then there was the two boys from uh, Fast Shipping in Ireland. And then there was Chalky, who's one of my bosses. And then next to me was Richard Evans, who's the owner of Davro. Uh -huh. So I'd actually got all the big boys, uh, big boys, uh -huh. but from the Midlands. So it was quite good. Because they were like, oh, are you London based? I was like, yeah, fuck. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Midlands, bro. <laughs> and they were like, oh, I'm yeah. I was like, oh, you are, might as well, are you? Why are they after the fuck you? <laughs> Northern, apparently. <laughs> uh, now I'm wondering if they've got a certain plans for you. Seems that they sent you to London and then you end up on the big people's table. It is weird that they singled me out, mm. but Sammy might have fucked up a little bit. Why? Because when we went to NAS, when we got back to the hotel, a lot of the lads from Stemcore, who's our competitor company based in London, came and sat and spoke to us. And Sammy got chatting to one of the lads because he was only about 25. And I didn't realise, but she's been texting him and seeing him for a little while. Well, he was there today. Well, Stemcore is where our directors came from, they left Stemcore to come to Deferco. Like, and it was really bad the way that they did it. I think oh, actually Stemco was in the process of suing Deferco because there is like a, a leave period where if you leave a job, say if I was to leave Deferco and go to another steel company, there's so long before you can actually go and do it because it could be conflict of interest, especially if you're at director level where you know all the accounts, all the ingoings, all the customers, everything. But they jumped ship and went from Stemco to Deferco. Mm. And now, because Sam is seeing one of the traders at Deferco, at Stemco and Chalky, when we were in the jugged hair, they were outside and Chalky spotted him and was like, he didn't look happy. But they didn't look happy apparently when um, she, because she was downstairs on her own, because I went off to bed about half, about two, well, when I sent you the video, yeah. at NAS. Mm. Andy followed mm. suit about an hour after me and she stayed down there till about seven and she said that they kept watching her because she was with the competition but she's doing accounts so she's got access to all Deferco's accounts not that she would I was like at the end of the day I think they've got better things to talk about than fucking Deferco and Stemcor <laughs> she's 22 and he's 25 they're gonna be fucking <laughs> you know what I mean they're not interested in what their jobs are but yeah they, they didn't look too best pleased about it so oh. it's a toughie <laughs> but she stayed down there, she was supposed to come back with us. She stayed down there on, uh, with him. But I was like, look, just make sure you get home safe. Mm. She's 22 at the end of the day, isn't she? Is she still there now? Yeah, yeah, we left her. I was like, we're yeah. going to get the train, are you coming or staying? And she was like, I'm going to stay. Uh. I was like, are you sure? Just make sure you get home safe. Uh -huh. I was like, have you got money for a train? And then he turned around and went, it's alright, I'll pay for her train. And I was like, well, that's fine. If you don't pay for it by any chance, Sammy, have you got the money? Because you can claim it back anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was like, I said to Chalky, I was like, I know you don't really give a shit, but she is staying. Can you just keep an eye and make sure that she's okay? And he was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was like, I know you won't, but I've done my bit now. She's yeah. 22. She isn't adult at the end of the day. So. And she's going down there next week to meet him anyway, so it's not like it's a new... He's been up to Birmingham as well, he took her out. Met her in Birmingham. Oh, fair do. They tie nothing, like just a quick. No, no, she went out. Um, mm. 
about a month ago, she said, oh, I've got a hot day tonight on a Friday night. And I was like, oh, what are you, are you giving? She's like, Japanese, I've never eaten Japanese before. I was like, no, no, mate, we were laughing. Mm. I didn't realise it was with him. She said it was with this lad, she didn't specify who. Um, but yeah, I found out that he finished work, got the train straight from work to Birmingham, met her at New Street, oh. took her out for a meal, paid for everything, made sure she got back and then got on the last train back to London. So nice, yeah. He does seem like he looks like a proper fucking Essex boy. He does. He really does look like a proper little Essex boy. But he seems nice. Do you know what I mean? Especially out of the whole group of ones. Me and Andrew the same. When we were sat with them at NAS uh -huh. in the bar, a few of them were fucking arrogant wank. Like one was there in his fucking suede suit, velvet suit, like fucking up his own arse. I, I went to bed. I was like, I can't. In fact, the only one that seemed nice was him. The one that Sammy is seeing, and Julian Vardy, who actually owns the company, who you'd expect to be a twat, but oh, he was yeah. lovely. He was so mm. down to earth. And the journalist as well, Pete. He looked like Jack Whitehall. Mm. What training regimen does Father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Did you see a picture with Ian Beale? Yeah. He's yeah. big man. I was like, no way. He said he was moaning because he got no change for his wife and he was pissed. And Andy was there. And Andy had got some change in his box. He said, here, yeah, 60p on me, go and have a piss. And then he's looked up and gone, fuck me, you're off the telly. It was fucking Ian Beale. <laughs> I said, he looked like a homeless man, man. No, we didn't recognise him. He did have the, uh, another look fell. Oh, yeah, King Bill. Isn't it? Like, you send the second one, I was like, fucking well, it. I took it what first off, I took it off Andy's phone, like, took a photo on my phone of Andy's phone, so it was a bit blurry, but then I got his Facebook up and just screenshotted it. Why even now, man? The chance you made it in here. Isn't it? I was gutted, because I was in the loo having a piss, I didn't notice. Oh. It wasn't until he come back out. It wasn't until he was on the train that he told us it, didn't he? Like, you got a selfie, posting it on Facebook, and you're just telling me. And the only reason he told me is because he couldn't get it to fucking post on Facebook. I had to look him up to my Wi-Fi spot, my hotspot on my phone. Sure. And sort it out because he'd put Ian Brake. So I think you'll find it's Ian Beale. <laughs> and then he said, and he's copied it. Tagged it, attached it on an email and sent it to oh, the yeah, director to see if he could claim the 60p back. Now to test my Is it? Yeah, it is. To tell we're pissed, can't you? We thought it'd be a good idea at the time. Oh, man. Sat there on the train drinking your fucking prosecco. We were sat in the quiet zone as well, and we were far from fucking quiet. <laughs> far from quiet. Okay. Oh, come on. What the fuck? What are supposed to do? Oh, this room of ages. What am I supposed to do? Does it not give you a hint? Oh, <coughs> fucking hell, it just went straight up. What am I doing? You've got to get over there, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, I see. Why did I do that in the first place? Sorry, I keep answering them and he's your friend, it's just it's habit. <laughs> but first, um, yeah. Uh, 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 thank you. Uh, at the edge of the uh, vision in shadow. Oh, 
Father's always on about the value of quiet feet. with a chokehold, that's one more person who gets to wake up and go home. <laughs> that's my girl. I want you to sneak up on me, if you can. Don't make any sound. Didn't see anything at all. Why fight when you can slip past? Remember, a pistol will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. Não, que é isso? This game is one of them where you just gotta take your time. Mm. This game, try no warning for you, it takes time to complete it. Some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Yeah, come on then. Yes. Oi. Yeah. That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Good. Okay. Ain't no shit. Well done. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah, you would have had it then. I'll chop to the feet. The last one I blocked and chopped to the feet. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. Come on. Oosh. Here, quick. 
Kom dan. Dat is iets, hè? Kom dan. Ah, oh, leuk like dit. You can Oké. Okay. Wat well, they're off balance, deliver a fatal blow. Yeah. Feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. When trouble does finally come, you're ready to fight. Oh, man, come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. I'm, I'm gonna need, I need to I'm sorry. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. Oh. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Good one, but I'm going to find who the snake is. I've seen hours ago, I'm just trying to get to London, it's not a drunk time. I know. I'm going to rest there. 11 hours ago I started drinking. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring, there. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. Imperial Majesty, Henry Caldwin. Loyal subjects, <laughs> we're going through a difficult time. <laughs> Today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the crown killer eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. <laughs> We've got a I wish I could just run away from all this. And he's trying Sometimes you do. You think I don't know him. about your nights no, out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. The royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Have a good weekend. No way. Because he's not in Tuffles, though, that. Can do a yeah, that's what I did. Your Majesty, <laughs> before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor. It still works. You so I wrote it out like that as well. Yeah. Ramsey says that he is bringing <laughs> special gifts. That's intriguing. Face Luca Abel, Duke of Zaconos. Mechanical soldiers. Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and 
royal protector Corvo Atano. Yeah. A native you of our fight them. I'm gonna meet them, huh? Taconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now, I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Yeah, you don't know. Oh, what? Oh, she got all Dog for the woman or the geezer? Ooh. Geezer's just lost all his powers, then. not they? Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, but, yeah, but, the, yeah, but, yeah, but the geezer's just lost his powers. No, but he's back in the girl. Him in the Empress's chambers, and then I'll bring him to Coldridge Prison <laughs> until his trial. My father lost it all, sent me to the city watch one step above begging. You think I had to take your orders? Corfo Itano, son of a Zirconian tradesman. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? I'll be Whoa. all Captain Mayhew. Perpetra. Treason. Sword folds in hand. <laughs> Treason. Treason. <laughs> Remember back in the days, it but 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 in them times, used to congregate all in the fucking hall, and then they'd all be shouting and one after the other. Treason. There's a legend in the city watch. The Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers, is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this oh, is one of the only two keys. What? What happened? Alexei, the throne room. 
Emily. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. Debbie fell over on the train. We couldn't sit down. She was stood up and then she was texting and she went holding on and this train stopped. She's just got on her arse. And all I did was look and laugh. I felt awful, but you know when you can't stop laughing? And what was worse is the tribe was full of kids as well, so they was all laughing as well. Although to be fair, this one bitch, I nearly poked her in the fucking eye, man. I proper sucked my teeth at her, she was stood about a foot away from me, she was looking at me, in my eyes, in my eyes. So I'm looking back at her and I thought, I ain't looking away, fuck this. So I sat there and she's staring and then in the end she's looked away and I've gone, fucking bitch. And I used your line, I was like, I think I'm wearing some of hers. And yeah, Jill was yeah. like... <laughs> Jill started laughing. I was like, what the fuck is she looking at? Maybe I should just spin it. Pick a place to live my wounds. I was like, I'm poking the eye in a minute. Young bitch. She had to walk past me. She didn't realise, but her boyfriend was behind me. So she might be looking at him to be better. She was looking in my eyes, though. She was in my eyes. And I was like, the fuck? So I gave her more. The Hound Tits Pub. Today starts another chapter. But will it get as bad as those times? There's some on me thing. It's twenty drawers to Gotta find some. There's some on there on me thing. Oh, damn, the window. <laughs> Dunwall always has a way of turning sour, just as soon as you get comfortable. Is Lady Emily all There's a right? There's underway. Emily is... she's imprisoned for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the I'm docks, looking for you. Get away like and help Emily. Emily. Are you having drunk? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's, Captain it's Mayhew. Cold, I'm tired. Goodbye. So I'm tired. So I'm tired. I don't know. 
safe room. Ramsey has it. Won't open without my sure, ring. Man, <laughs> Have you took him out or so or just took him a bit mate? That's cool because my mum took him out as well about when I was trying to get hold of a PA she was walking my leg. Oh. And then to be fair by the time she landed back I was like it's gonna be a bit hard anyway, so there's no point then <laughs> then you know. <laughs> But you've played on it. Mm -hmm. You've been playing Battlefield. I do like that. No, I've got it, yeah. And I'm going to play it. And then I'll go into the other side. And then it's all out. Oh, have you not played it? I've played Battlefield. Oh, yeah, you said you were showing me. Spare uniform. This guy meant to come in like the other one. No. Like the story just seems a bit confusing. Oh no. It makes more sense as a good thing. 
Because um, that upload was just easy then, wasn't it? Following on from the ah, first, first one. one, yeah. Oh, I've not tried that, so I wouldn't know. I've forgot to do some video the first one, but um, that's a good feeling. Oh, do you remember? Yeah. Someone let anyone here? Oh, Show yourself! You got abilities, if I can remember where uh, you can see the idea. Okay, no. So we all can start to come some further in there. But it's a kind of stuff. I start going out to stop for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that piece and let me start asking you shit for you. Disloyal dogs. With the throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I have searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh, this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, and the cream of society. Then very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Broken glass. 
Nothing will stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Murdered for nothing more than their loyalty to Emily. Ruthless. Emily, I'll make this right. I promise. At least you're safe for now. Look at this place. made this lock. I'd better take these. I suspect the crown killer is connected to Delilah's coup. Yeah, here we go. Out into the world once more. How many people What's have that? forgotten this mask? One fuck. Back in the evening. Mm -hmm. Back in business now. Hunting, drink and take. Reserves won't help against Delilah, Lati. even if I had a way to carry it all oh, out of here. Mm -mm. I'm rich. <laughs> this could be handy. Uh, why can't we just take them two beastly ones as well? <laughs> Jeez. Why can't we... Lock! Mm -mm. Why can't we just take the big beastie ones? 
I'm down there. Like, took a six. What, 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 this? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. It's a serial number for the gold, man. Yeah. Yeah, but where am I supposed to put it then? Might as well find out. We'll soon find out in a bit, man. If I need it or not. If I need it, I'll come back. Do I want to No, I want to stay in the town. That's my shelf thing type of thing. I'll get some exception. Ramsey's men barred it so he'd have time to loot Emily's safe room. Yeah, sick here. Mm -hmm. I did have a four at one point, and then I went back down to three, and then down to two. Views now. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. I used to listen while Emily and her governess Callista read from this book. I'm glad she wasn't here to see Emily driven out of Dunwall Tower.
Lila turned Emily to stone. I will find a way to make her flesh again. Fucker. <laughs> You're not fit for that watch uniform. Men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Corvo Atano has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find him. That's it. You've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. This fucking contour. Watch. Like a stocking without a leg, that's what. Nothing. Worse than nothing. I hate this wool. It itches like mad. Why can't I wear my regular clothes? I'm just going in and fuck this man. Fuck you, you cunt. And you. Fuck, that's what you get. Boom. Fuck you. Mm. <laughs> and in. Attention, 
Dunwall citizen. Attention, Dunwall citizen. Today, Delilah Baldwin is our new empress. All hail Delilah, first of her name. Further, Corvo Atano is now wanted for treason. Many of you found harboring the royal protector will be fined and arrested. Yeah. Te lo colo desde de Giza. Chance games, I just, I just dealt with him, man. I just dealt with him. I take no chances. Nah, I take no chances. The, the more, the more, the, the, the more turned against us, so therefore, the more die. None of them are loyal. No businessman, you get him away, you give him there. She want you to come on. Yeah. See, I, I can't understand why it's, why it's doing that because I, I checked the internet connection before I started this one. And it was saying it's running on 28 meg. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the 
So if I have two no, and I give him one, I still got to be one. Then if I eat it, you know, if he eats it, then what? That's all I have at one, right? I can go in there. Oh, you have to eat it. Oh, you I don't know that ship, but maybe the captain can help. Traitorous dog. Right, oh. Fucking copy them up quick time. Shh, we shouldn't be talking about this. Until later then. I doubt I can help you, whatever you want. I don't feel safe. What is wrong with this city? Can I not see it? Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. Don't talk to me, man. I've got to get over to one of the other districts. What happened here? Uh. Talk to me, man. Okay, I wanted to give me some information. Now, someone knows what's going on in here. I don't talk to you, I don't feel safe. It's all quiet then. <laughs>
place is a dump anyway. No. Oh, Leave me alone, please. Now going down. Oh yeah, Someone 
so. Let's see. What was it? First the shortage of whale oil, then the murders. Now, what's ever going on tonight? You have to understand. I'm going to call for help if you don't go. Should we nominate oh, your a yeah, sanitation him. committee chair? Elaine heard fighting between some of the guards earlier. This is bad. Just, uh, I'd pay bribes too if it meant the road. This place has changed a lot off. over the years, and not for the better. Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel safe anymore. Uh, <laughs> of having a picnic soon on the back lawn that's a horrid idea <sighs> Cigars tomorrow. Want to buy one? Sure. <clears throat> Any bar. Let's ask the land agent to read the playing dice the tonight. Drains. You win? You bet. to understand. I'm going to call for help if you don't go. Listen, Whatever you need, uh, leave me alone. What's wrong with you? You dickhead, man. What's wrong with you? Fuck it. Fuck it, man. What's wrong with you? Fuck it, man. 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 I need assistance. Shut up, you naive woman. What's wrong with you? Fuck it, man. Yeah, he's just trying to get out, yeah. You wanna fucking let me out? And then he decides to give him one for fucking calling the guards, man. Yeah, because he's fucking trying to call the guards, man. He wouldn't let me out and then he decides he's gonna wanna tell the guards to suck for that. You can have it, man. It's 
city watch as it stands full. Oh, that one, yeah. Crown killers will not take it all. Shut That one deserved it, man. I don't think it's just there, man. Who's running around over there? Oh, who goes there? Yes. <laughs> this one's quite into it, man.
Kill boy fish, they're eating me. Jeez, shot them. Duck team. Kill them up, man. Kill them off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Apart from the other being that that person. Oh, no. Yeah, what the fuck? I have to climb on my little boy. I I I I I I I I I I Came here to warn the royal protector. Maybe to. Hey, over here. Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warned over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who's seized the throne. They have Emily and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away and cover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunbar. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. <laughs> Should we go? I am. Can't my ass get bigger? That means doing exercise. Good bitch, though. It's after the best one, that's after squat on your dick. Yeah, no. Oh, too bad. No! <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm cool, seriously. I love you for broadcasting, huh? Two hours and five minutes. Oh, 
Nie, bo ja jest tak powiem tak, no tak No, 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 Kevin said in the area, you see much about it in the town. Hmm. I'd go reverse, see what's going on. Let's go. See, only fame for them in the fifty five queens, I don't know if I can find the ones, eh? Two paintings, so they can do that. Shit. Look at that, can I? Shit. Yeah, I'm going to the next person. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you don't know who you are. That's how fucked I am. I'm mm -hmm. gonna get that baby out tomorrow. Yeah, show my mum, yeah. Yeah. That was just under. Um, you didn't say that. Yeah, that's what you said about it. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was all about me, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. I actually seen that as well, actually. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but can you see it? Blue? Is it that turquoise? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, man. Because I can't remember if it was the blue or the purple, but I think the blue was the pet hair one, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. My arms, I feel like I've been weightlifting all day. I know I haven't. Well, what am I still waiting for? Because see, that come a day late. That thing. Um, I'm waiting on your arm. Left. Yeah. That's still due to come. Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield. That's due, still due to come. But I should get an email off to do with the uh, Battlefield one. Where did um, you get it from? It's been dispatched. Okay. Going there. Yeah, I ordered more from game last Friday and it came on Wednesday. Yeah, my mate. See, so yours will probably it's be like Monday. Yeah, Monday at the latest, I'd say. I thought I didn't chase, chase them up just yet because for game. They didn't, they didn't like send me a message, I just came home and it was in the door. Oh, yeah, man. I'm thinking like the Black Friday and all that stuff, they got loads. So they did say delivery might be a bit longer. That's why they didn't know, to be fair. So... I'm gonna give them a few days. Yeah. Oh... Well, did you order it? Was it Tuesday? Monday? Um. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Might be Sunday, you know. No, I think... Yeah, it's either Sunday or Monday. Yeah. Oh, Sunday, because I'm back Monday. Yeah. But you had been on that here Monday, so it might have been Monday. No, because I think nah, we had, you put, you were playing your game, I cooked dinner, and then I dropped you back in it. Yeah. Because I wanted to watch Orange County, but I missed it anyway. Joel Clinton. No, nah, I can catch you on the hook, but I just need to reinstall the iPad because it's really good. Clinton. Yeah, right. Cottage Torch. Oh, yeah. That's what I usually get. Yeah, I hate it though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I used I'm to have? Do you remember the um, 
the big ones that were like that, like the golden Virginia tins. We used to have one there, oh, and I had the one. unbelief one. Now nah, that the, oh, uh, nah, the, the golden the, Virginia was, was green, yeah. unbelief was yellow. Yeah, the unbelief one. I never had the golden Virginia because I never had the golden. Yeah, but the tins are yeah, and they don't have golden Virginia, they just have the tin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've, I've seen that in the shop, because I have seen them before. No, I have seen them. And then just by chance, because I went to like three different shops for stone tobacco, and none in them at all. I was like, joking. Went to the fourth one. Same day, went to the doctor's. Oh, yeah. Went to the fourth one. Tuesday. Right, yeah, right by me. Never had no stone tobacco. But, mm. but I was like, right, then what you going to show me all this stuff and that. It goes, GV. I was like, I definitely don't want now. I was like, you've What's got, G- oh, yeah. Garden Virginia, yeah. I was like, it's basically Garden Virginia, Garden Virginia, with another name. I was like, I don't want it. I was like, I had a daft. And then uh, she's like, I don't know, I don't know. I was like, um, I was like, oh, what's up there, man? <laughs> and send the tin. I was like, what the? I was like, the tin there. And she shot me. I was like, um, she's like. Five pound fifteen. Yeah, and yeah. how much was in it? Uh, twenty. The, Twenty gram. The pack's in there. Is it? Well, I've I've used what was in the pack, and then I've oh, got me. Oh, did you see the weight of it? What weight is it? Another one. I thought it was twelve five, twelve point five. Okay. Plus, reason pack of reason is in five sleeves to filters. Yeah, man, you got filters as well. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I always forget. Therefore, I'll go back in. Which is very rare. Run on to the front because that's perfect for keeping the things in shape. And you're weak. Oh my god! Because you're opening it, yeah? Mm. And then the dog is directly flat, it stays up, it's an angle. Mm. So you've got some matter of rest of his wings, can you? Yeah, man, I like it. That's cool, because now you can have your backy tin and your wee tin. Mm-hmm. Now you've got a backy tin and a wee tin. You know, do you? Yeah. It's all, oh, yeah. Is it, is it, um, is it tall enough for your grinder? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But to be fair, um... You could flatten your grinder anyway by just opening it up, couldn't you? Yeah. But if, if, if I have my backy move, is we now. It's a squeeze. Mm. Yeah, but would you have your back in there? You'd just have your rhythm in the way, wouldn't you? Have your back in being with your back in, surely. Mm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, it's to like sleep I know this but my mind won't let me mine's telling me no <laughs> but my, my body <laughs> my body is saying go sleep I don't see nothing wrong I just wanna see plenty of sex <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you want to see plenty of sex I suggest you're oh, on the station tonight oh I thought you said sex <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I got the I got the in the first time. No. <laughs> uh, well, I don't mind. You'll just have to like not mind me being asleep and tidy up after. That's fine by me, as long as you don't expect any movement, noise, sound. I've got <laughs> I've got bad vibes. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's your- as you tidy up, it's fine. Uh, free CD key, give it away. Go fuck off. Ain't interested, goon, goon spam somebody else's broadcast. Can't. Uh. I'm fucking spamming my broadcast with your fucking bullshit. Can you make bullshit? <laughs> Dude, you see that comment there? Yeah. Hit him with a bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Squeeze the tea bag and drop it back in. 
It's all right, give it another stir and then squeeze it again. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a little drop of milk, yeah. Like, uh, like a normal amount of milk, but hopefully you've made it nice and strong so it won't look like nuts piss. It'll be nice and sturdy, like a proper tea. A builder's tea is nuts piss, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the splash. Oh. <laughs> the milk. <laughs> What's it look like? What does it look like? Yeah, but is it like tea? Or is it like is it dark? No, it's not light. Light. Yeah, put, some milk. put another tea bag in it then, please. Mm. Thank you. Just leave the tea bag in it. That's I said we'd do a little bit of milk. I would have got it spot on. No. Oh, well, I just didn't realise she'd be so heavy-handed. <laughs> I'll remember next time. Nice to milk. Just for <laughs> that's one. If it's a coffee, I like a lot of milk because I like a lot. If it's a tea, I like a builder's tea. If it ain't strong, it's wrong. Just leave the bag in it and I'll have it, thank you. Mm. You don't got to stand there, keep staring. I'm getting it dark, it's getting darker. I know, yeah, but I don't mind if it sits in the cup and brews, to be honest. That's how skanky I am. Can't believe all ninety quid, man. Fucking buzzing. Buzzing. I've snapped up on Ben and Jerry's. Hmm. I've had a little stop it on. Ben and Jerry. I've still got fish food in there, you have? Yeah, mate. Thank you. Was checked. What did you get? Oh, no, we've got fish food, we've got chocolate fudge, and we've got dime. Dime. Mm. Dime. Trust me. It That's... was a must. I ate all that last time, I think. <laughs> Sorry. No, you don't. I ate it. No, I ate the last one. Oh, it was on for You were eating one. cookie dough, I think. No. And dime, and you ate the Oreo, yeah, that was yeah, like. Yeah, She's nice, alright. Oh. Yeah, man. Do you know in Tesco, yeah? Where you've got your freezers, what we normally get that thing here, the, the Ben yeah. Jerry's out of. Well, do you know if you could further down? Oh, yeah. Have you seen that little fridge? That freezer thing? Oh, yeah, where the ice cream is. Yeah. Like, by the wine. I never even noticed. Oh, yeah, but there's an issue for calling it. Nah, that was full of Ben and, ben and Jerry's, all the newer flavours. Was it? But I, I was like, nah, I thought that was the price. Oh, I was yeah. I like, mm, they are not for nothing. Nah, man. But yeah, there's all fucking no, man. mad, mad other flavours in there. Man, if you want to the yeah, do you want to hear what we had? Probably not, but it, no, it was not. divine. We had venison carpaccio. Nice. Black pudding, bayonets, pickled vegetables, quail's egg, chestnut cream and lemon olive oil mm -mm. to start. Then we had suckling pig, smoked belly bubble, no smoked belly, bubble and squeak ash, caramelised shots, hispy cabbage and a barbecue pineapple puree. Oh. And then for dessert we had black forest fondant, I can't pronounce that, pistachio, right. that one. Kirsch Sabayon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you said right. Pistachio and sugar crystal moss. Chocolate and vanilla mushrooms. Mm. Chantilly snow. And black cherry ice cream. Nice. Yes, mate. <gasps> coffee and petty pot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but the coffee cup was about that big. Oh, fuck so. And about the same width. Is it worth it? It was like a thimble. She came around with the milk. I'd already shattered it. I was like, jeez, love. Well, uh, hey, hey, it's, pos it's phosphoric milk in there as well. I just laughed. 
I didn't put sugar in it. It probably would have dissolved oh, and sucked it all up. I'd have had to cup full of sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a sponge. <laughs> but it was good. You like fucking hell, stingy on my coffee. Mm. <laughs> stingy on ting. <laughs> Oh, I've been clacking on there, dude. Something's not right, but it seems familiar somehow. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Here we go, Dave. Do I even have to say it? Remember this bit before, in the first thing? Meeting a weird person and then you get some powers. I gave you my mark for a Come to the dark side. I wanted to know what happens when you take an honorable man's life away. No, no. When you push his face down into the blood. It is like what will you do? Give him the chance. And what a sight it was. You gave yourself over to blood and terror. Gave it everything you had. Then you spent 15 years making sure it wouldn't happen again. Oh, thank you, brother. But now it has. And this time, you know where it leads. What is that? Trust! Will you do it all again? Some fucked up whale? Where is that good man now? Whale that shot the catfish. Shit. <laughs> no powers mode. What do you mean, no powers mode? And that's I felt over. this so long ago. <laughs> the void. It was still there all along. The devil was more. Mm. Never thought I'd be here again. Oh, I fucking did. <laughs> Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. Jessamine, if all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and 
and I will guide you when I can. Who is Delilah, really? Jessamine's sister? Bearing the outsider's mark. But then again, she could be a fucking thing assassin, so yeah, she can as well. throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, Mental. and now she's an empress. Yeah, I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. This could be a bit too much for us to be fair. It's one of the games we've played before. Did they cut the movie? Or Tom got back? I bet the chicken. Then stabbed it. How did you get it in there? And did the task go? Grabbed all that crap. Come back. I grabbed it on them, do you know them lap things? What they do in there? Oh, I love wraps. Yeah, I grabbed all the wraps and. What did you, which one did you have? And a boy fruit. Some fried chicken. Mm, yeah, I got the other day. Do you know what? I had a free pack of it the other day. Mm. Greedy bitch. Yeah, man. Just when you think you've got it all figured Could out. Could eat a lot. Just as you're starting to relax, Should you look up and there are wolves at the gate. Yeah. Wolves with red muzzles. Hungry for your insides. Everything has turned to shit. Last time I saw Karnaka, it was just 18. Boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. Yeah. And I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. In the 36 years since, I've buried countless enemies. Most deserved what they got. But I wonder if that even matters. I've stopped dozens of assassins. The one who got through eats at my dreams. Who'd have thought I'd come home to Karnaka, the most wanted man in the Empire, following the trail of a monstrous killer? Who'd have thought I'd be on the run again, ready to wade through another river of blood?
This is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? All shots metal and shadows we'd say. <laughs> the fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh. Isn't it though? I saw no more What the fuck? Listening to old Anton Sokolov and his travel stories. He even explored Pandesia. Sokolov's style. It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history. But he wouldn't say more. to talk, I'll tell you what I know. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is all right. Wherever he is. Karnaka looks pretty from a distance, but it's a city on the way down. And the blood flies are bad this year. I'm not 
Sokolov doing here. The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the crown killer. He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. The new duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The crown killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers, the crown killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the crown killer. Maybe the alchemist will cooperate, maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. You want? No, no. Toilet. 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 Toilet.
Ready for me to <laughs> They're all locked up. <laughs> right. <laughs> just looking up and grinning. I know it's you. <laughs> Don't worry, I got my old at home. Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. A lot of Off we go then. <laughs> One more time, old friend. Identity. Oh. Everyone now we read, so I feel like I need to learn to manage. Oh, yeah. I take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Sircono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca of El took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. After I've disabled the Watchtower. Maybe I should have it looked at. I don't think it's supposed to fester like that. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. The jewel. No need to cover your face. There's not much dust from the mines down here at the docks. Hey, what ship is that out there? You know the skipper? Your face is covered. The Grand Guard won't like that. It's not on the river. Let's see what you've got. Everybody's looking out for themselves right yes. now. Dust worse than usual today, don't you think? You up for a beer later? Nah. I don't feel safe. What is wrong with this city? That's Adermeyer in the distance. It's a hot one. <laughs> I think we should clean it up. Should Me. Be here. Quit the Red Shark. This is unacceptable. I have a very tight schedule. Don't worry, you'll we'll make it eventually. If not today, then tomorrow. Is that a joke? Santiago Fisheries have a reputation to maintain. We have clients all over the aisles. Do I need to remind you that fish is a delicate cargo? We can't afford any delays. So many people trying to get away from Karnaka now. You know that we're supposed to go to Watts. What are we supposed to do now? We're out of money. Tell the truth for once, you lying coward. What did you make on this promise? Say one more word. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is your fault. Beach cheating people all day in a bank.
But they don't want to listen to me. Next time, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. ...conducted in the name of the former Empress, Emily Caldwin, and carried out by the former Royal Protector, Corvo Atano. The Grand Sirconan Guard will be stopping and questioning all foreigners and new workers on the streets of Karnaka. Compliance is mandatory. <laughs> Hello there. I'm sorry, but you can't be here. Sure. I need the dust out? Of course I need. Mean, trust Mike, but you're not going to show him that. I just boil everything. Simple as that. Tastes like shoe leather, but it's better than eating blood pile on them. Am I right? I only buy meat if I see the animal killed in front of me. Take any fight you can't finish. <laughs> Side had any money. We just know they're dead, and the place is infested with blood flies. Carl, going through there puts us on the other side of the wall of light. If you want out of the city as bad as I do, this is our chance. No. More likely we all get stung to death. Then we end up hatching more blood flies for the next group of idiots who try to get inside. Damn it, Carl. All right. We don't turn on each other. We'll find another way to make the coin. And another way to get past the wall of light. You can find all sorts of good stuff in bloodfly nests, if you're sneaky and you've got the stomach for it. Weapons and ammunition. This year's bloodfly 
concern is the most severe in recent memory. <laughs> if you encounter a nest or an infested corpse, do not disturb them. Attempts to practice the animal rights of the Abbey of the Everyman will punish severely. Good luck. Contact the Grand Sirconan Guard at once. The Guardsmen on site will handle the situation and determine whether any fines are appropriate. I am being hunted by half the people in the Empire. Part of me welcomes the fight if they find me. CDK. I can't stand the light. Oh, hey, who are you? Oh, he's out of ammunition. 
Fuck this one, everyone's up here. Oh, there's a guy up there. Don't know. Walking around in that, checking prices, collecting stuff, and all of a sudden they turned on me. Well, fuck you. Know. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm getting savage now. I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh, no. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. you. Where am I? You said that. Yeah, there is one that's watching Oh, it's one up there, man. The blood flies are disgusting. What's next? Oi! Cheeky fucking cunt! You get. Cover your face. Are you worried someone might recognize you? No, that's just things like that. What? Somebody's not feeling well. You don't need to do this. Oh, 
¿Qué es el que dice? Uh -huh. In the Duke's absence, I have the following announcement. As a response to violent crime and foreign interference in our affairs... Run while you're still bring your I don't want to die. I can't save One lick and he killed me. Go and get her. You used to kill people in one lick though, innit? You weren't to see red. Anyone here? Show yourself. Fellow Sir Conans, in the Duke's absence, I, I have the following was. announcement. Someone there? As a response to violent crime and foreign interference in our affairs, travel between districts is restricted to those carrying the appropriate permits, including citizens moving between homes and work. Hello? Any attempts to hinder the grand... Wall of Light, from the time of the Rat Plague. Any complaints as to the behavior of the Grand Guard should be addressed to the nearest I guard. I what I'm deep. Nothing after all. Nothing. Whatever then. I'll perform right to the first blasphemer. How dare you! I'll keep trying. Come on, let's finish.
Somebody's not feeling well. <gasps> what happened? Yeah. Oh, the dude said he was all the shit they don't want. Stone wall for all they listen.
them to fight things. Yeah. All things to put them there.
Oh no, because you should blow us during that. But I'll cut more and then do it at the same time. Make a coffee. And then come right like half seven, eight o'clock. close to the top it goes up one month. Yeah. Relax is close. Yeah. 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 My parents were from Tivia, but I was born right here. Anybody? Where did you disappear to? Uh, don't maybe search the whole place. I don't have time for that. What? Take this! Huh? Ah! You! Come here! You ready? Take it! Fuck me! Lock in!
More Grand Guard soldiers, lap dogs for the Duke. Oh, that's why it's the soldiers. One night. Oh. Now I'm covered in shankers. Hope it's not something bad. Maybe it's nothing. What? Where did those rats come from? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm Just pay the fine and be done with it. No one is making trouble. I'm getting tired of the sound of my own voice. It's like I'm talking to a stone wall for all they listen. Hmm. From the outer horrors of the void and from the spoiled the outsider himself. Checking the things in box as well. There's many nice and tiny. Doctor Fall? 
could like to get to this. <coughs> Gives you yourselves to find that market. Get there, shit. That is what I should have said. It will bother me all the night. Whose faces we do not recognize, mm. and whose voices are strange to us. Earl was taken from her home the next night, locked in a cage of iron, and she toppled into the canal. Her corruption was eradicated for the safety of all. Uh -huh. Did you hear that? What's going on here? What? Was that? what? What the fuck was that explosion? I'll so fall right here. Have a look around. Brother, get ready. I know what age you are going on anywhere. Anywhere. I see one. Come and face your judgment, apostate. I'll cure the world from the lights. Uh, Die, creature of the void. Let's find this interloper. Stand Come against the faithless any scriptures guide my hand. Where, Where is, is he hiding, so coward? Shame on you. Look everywhere. I can smell the stench of heresy. So close. Hello? Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. Hmm. I wonder who that was. Being presumptuous, hoping to cross the paths with that monster of assassin. <clears throat> Sure, that was the crown killer. The outsiders have to stay alert. Just stay alert. Don't go on the scan. I will focus on the strictures. Whatever has brought disquiet, it is fleeting. It will pass. It won't be long. That's terrible.
Perhaps he was about to. Uh -huh. oh, I don't know. Um, I might do it. I'll have a be on this or I'll be on um, Battlefield. Yeah, man. to watch it to be fair when if you're playing with the lad Star Wars.